Welcome back to Truck U. Now today we've been talking about error codes and those pretty little lights that come up on your dash. You know, the ones you don't want to see. One of the most common lights that you don't want to see is the check engine light. And one of the most common sources of that is a P300 error code. And really what throws that up a lot is an issue with the ignition coil. You know, we talk about ignition coils. It's a great opportunity for us to kind of take you well, I'll back a step and talk about the evolution of the coil. In 1909 was the first type of ignition coil, and that was a distributor type system. And it's something that's prevalent in NASCAR today, and I actually won one, run one in my drag race car. Now, the way the whole system works is you've got a single coil, which is feeding spark to a distributor, which does exactly what you would think. It distributes the spark to the entire engine. Now, this is how it works is in this application, you have the distributor slide in through the top of the engine, and it's been driven in a circle like this off of the camshaft. So as this is turning, you've got this rotor up here which is turning. Now in your car all you're going to see is the top on like that but if you look inside you see what's happening is as the engine turns around this rotor is turning it's distributing spark to each one of these posts here which is going out through a spark plug wire to each individual cylinder. The good thing about it is well you can make some power the bad thing is it's not really that efficient you know you talk about it plug wires the length of those wires you've got more opportunity to lose spark to lose energy to lose ignition and that's not a good thing now mechanically speaking there's a couple things you have to have intact for it to work correctly you've got to have this time correctly into the engine if you don't it'll misfire if you do something as simple as across a plug wire it'll misfire as well you know Come to think of it, I don't even know why I run one of these things. There's a lot going on with that, right? <laughs> right around 1985, some guys were hanging out saying, we have got to take this and make it more efficient. And that's what came about with the direct ignition system. Now, this was nice because one coil could run two cylinders, right? So they didn't have to work as hard. Then, basically, this was electronically driven, not mechanical. So it's not being driven by the cam anymore, so it's not going to rob any power of the right. engine. So that was the idea. You know, the next step in the evolution was really to make it a little bit smaller, not take any power from it and run it electronically. And this was a good step in the right direction. Now in 1995, things evolved to the ignition cassette as you can see right here. Now the whole advantage to this is you've got a very short amount of time and space that the spark has to travel. You've got less opportunity to lose spark and lose energy. Now the drawbacks to this is the fact that, well, they're specific to each particular engine and each particular application. The other thing too is if one of these coils goes bad, you've got to change out the whole system, which can be expensive and kind of a bit of a pain, to be honest with you. Sure. So that same group of people, or maybe some different guys, were hanging out going, you know, we're tired of junking this whole thing because one went bad, so we're going to go to this, the next step in the evolution. And it's a coil near plug is what they were calling that. And the coil is right there. If this went bad, all you had to do was replace this one and not this whole unit. Now, keeping with that theme of lighter, smaller, better, shorter, <laughs> you got the pencil coil, which came about in 2001. It's prevalent in a lot of passenger cars you'll see today and trucks. And as you can see, it's physically smaller than the other one. And the whole idea, once again, you've got less opportunity for it to lose spark, less opportunity for it to lose energy. And, you know, you only need one per cylinder. So you, what you do is if one goes bad, you don't have to worry about junking the whole system like you did here. Right. You don't have that loss of power through all those wires in that whole system like you had here. And I'm starting to think the coil evolved over time and it's gotten smaller and better and lighter and faster. And I'm still running something like this. You know, I wonder I, why I got killed last week. I'm no crew chief, but the coil has evolved and it might be time for you to evolve as well, my friend. Yeah, I something think the, to think about. The B-Man needs to evolve as well.